morning friends the last vlog you probably saw for me was my last time in florence italy and i have been in british columbia canada the place where i lived for 10 years prior to my european adventures and i was back here to figure out my life <laughs> it was picking up my car dealing with a storage unit of things and kind of tying up loose ends it feels like phase two of moving out of this province and today we start our journey back driving from vancouver to calgary alberta where my new home and base will be so this morning i luckily got to stay in my friend's apartment we're just getting our belongings collected and we're going to be heading out and saying goodbye to where i have called home for 10 years and where basically all my adulthood development time has been we're going to take our time and take you along with me Hey friends, Future Editing Anna here. I just wanted to acknowledge that this video and road trip was filmed last summer. And as I speak, August, 2023, Kelowna, West Kelowna and the Okanagan region has been hit really hard with a wildfire that has destroyed homes, businesses, misplaced families, and made the firefighters and first responders work tirelessly to try and fight the fire, to keep it contained. And it just continues to blaze over and destroy land. Some clips you'll see in this video no longer exist or look as they do because they've been overtaken by the flame. And I just wanted to preface this because it's not gonna be what it would look like if you visited right now, even though you can't visit right now due to the flames. I'm going to link a few organizations in my description of this video if you have any of the means or resources to support the families, businesses, homes, firefighters, individuals that have been working tirelessly to help stop this and also make sure that families can find a new home or return to their home should it still be standing. You can check out those links in my description. Thanks so much for your efforts and enjoy the rest of the video. Okay, <laughs> we've already started this journey back to Vancouver. So I'm currently sitting in Chilliwack. I just filled up at a Shell station and I thought I would share a quick tip that my dad thankfully told me about. If you use the Shell app, <laughs> excuse this super broken phone, in Alberta and British Columbia for sure, if you have AMA or BCAA and you link it to this Shell app, you get three cents off. And I'm traveling as tight of a budget right now as possible. So I just chose, I filled up 20 bucks in Vancouver where it was 180, 179 with this app out here in Chilliwack. And I just filled up for 162, but we're gonna have a pee break cause I've been sipping coffee every, all morning. Has that ever happened to you? You put milk in coffee and it like separates. We might not to drink any more of that but we also are saying hydrated but like not too much because you don't want to have to pee and then I've got snacks on the seat next to me this bag is like my everything bag it's got all my valuables more snacks back there we have Ruby my beautiful road bike my hoodie that I just literally threw and then my trunk is full got the beautiful mountains We are off now to Kelowna as far as I can get um, until I feel tired. Well, I feel tired already, <laughs> but as far as I can get 
driving um, and I think it's about three more hours. And then we will check into a hostel, which I'm really excited to see what North American hostels are like because I've never stayed in a hostel in Canada before. I've stayed in many European ones. So you can go back and watch my European vlogs, but I've never stayed in a, uh, in a hostel in Canada. Just loading in Google Maps here. Three hours and three minutes, baby, up into the mountains. I'm also listening to the Girls Gotta Eat podcast, which I'll link below, which has been like so great. But I like podcasts since I'm alone. Yeah, there's no one to talk to. And uh, here we go. Time to drive. I've driven 20 minutes since I last recorded because my Apple CarPlay is not working, you know, like first world problems. However, I'm really bad with directions and I don't know where we're going and I don't know why my phone also like, it keeps getting canceled. So it's stressing me out and I'm done listening to this one podcast. I don't freaking understand it. But also it is so smoky here. Let me show you. Those are not clouds, those are snow. So normally in BC, since I've lived here like the past 10 years, there has always been forest fires. And this year, at least in the mainland, it hasn't, the smoke hasn't come that way yet. But now driving more east, they're definitely in that area. So it's smoky, it smells like it. You can, yeah, it's a bit scary. I want to try and drive like one more hour and then stop for lunch. But maybe this is God's way of saying I should stop for lunch now. I don't know. friends we've just driven maybe two hours because we have about an hour left and I fixed my Apple CarPlay because I just restarted my phone and now this is like the only rest stop we've really seen but I'm hungry so we're gonna stop and make a sandwich All right, so today's sandwich is last night before I left where I was staying, I pre-cut tofu. So today it would be a lot easier just to put a couple slices on. We also are gonna put cucumber, spinach, mayo, mustard, and queso, queso, cheese. And the goal also is to be as zero waste as possible. So I've got my reusable fork, which I have brought literally everywhere. Got a cucumber. Unfortunately, we had to put this in plastic because I wanted my my mason jar for coffee this morning. But we're gonna load this up so that I have some good protein, nice and full. Probably will eat the rest of these cucumbers when I um, am driving as a snack, and also pre-cut them last night because if you do that, you know you have better choices. I'm trying to think of like food that will fill me up, and because it's like a three-day trip, we want it to be as nutritious as possible, keep us awake. I'm definitely ready for coffee number two. Thought about like trying to heat some coffee in the sun. Forgot to bring my mug out though, or heat some water in the sun. It's about 25 degrees Celsius, but it is warm and sunny.
here's a trick I've been using to try and keep the food that won't fit in my cooler cool is using one of these solar shades just to block out the hot sun that is coming in away from my food. And I think at Canadian Tire it was $10 last summer. This is the Loon Lake rest stop just past Merritt when you're driving on the North Highway. You've got lots of garbage, you've got picnic tables, a washroom, hybrid plug-in stations, and it's smoky, but otherwise it would be a really nice view. All right, we got one hour left. And then we're gonna arrive to the Sam Sun Hostel in Kelowna. All right, my friends, we did make it to Kelowna. I've already checked into my hostel. Uh, the ride from that Loon Lake checkpoint was really nice drive for the last little bit, um, the last hour and then we just checked into the hostel. I tried to put my food away, but the fridges were so full. The room's okay, it's a little tight. Um, I think I'm gonna sleep with my sleeping bag too and my own pillow because I have it, so why not? You know, it could use a refresh, let's say that. It's really big in a great central location, so I just walked. I'm just at the Central Kelowna Library and I made a TikTok about this some time ago that uh, libraries in Alberta and BC are really great. I believe the rest in Canada, but like I can speak for this. You have free Wi-Fi, free bathrooms, water, it's quiet. So I just went there and worked for two hours behind on work like storage unit stuff and now we're gonna go find some dinner and it was recommended to me Frankie the salute but it's closed today two people recommended it on my Instagram so I think we're gonna go check out this place called Central because it's close by and I'm enjoying walking since I've been driving all day so I think I'm gonna go get a pizza scratch that closed it's like employee appreciation day so backup plan is we're gonna walk down to the water front because there must be food in the touristy area and by now I'm just literally looking for a slice of panico pizza we landed on Pacific Coconut for dinner and we just got the veggie bowl because we were too lazy to decide what we wanted that was $15.75 Well, my friends, we're walking through the Kelowna City Park here. Right behind me is the sun setting. It's quite smoky here, but we're gonna end today's vlog today for day one of the road trip. And tomorrow we drive from Kelowna to Lake Louise, which is really close to Calgary, but you know, just gotta break it up a little bit more and then hopefully spend a day in Lake Louise. So we'll see you in the morning. Have a good night. It was nice that there was only four of us in a six bedroom dorm. I think we'll try and at least drive to Golden. Hour to go and no, 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 you can't stay inside. Do you have a neighbor? Looks like these two beds are something you should know about entering Banff. Yo, the plan of attack was to have dinner at the restaurant. I just had a 